Today we are going to discuss a very important topic of migration pathway from Apigee Edge to Apigee X. So I have compiled this slide after a lot of research and feedback from the Google community and Apigee community. So let's divide it to a few questions. Let's answer a few questions and that will make the pathway for emerging the migration process. Okay. So what are the main differences between Apigee Edge and Apigee X? Now before we embark upon creating a migration plan or pathway from Apigee Edge to Apigee X, it, it is important to consider the following points. There is no straightforward way of migrating to Apigee X from Apigee Edge and that is not to discourage you or any user of Apigee Edge who is whose company is going to migrate to apg x or thinking of migrating to apg x because that is the latest release and it is more secure and more versatile or flexible or whatever okay but it is to keep in mind that some of the points that will emerge during the course of this lecture needs to be carefully adhered to and that will help you to make your migration process slightly easier if not very easy. So the general pattern and metaphor is the same, but Apigee X is different from Apigee Edge in many ways. And the identity for admin and operator users in Apigee X is governed by GCP, Google Cloud Project, Identity Access Management, and Role Based Access Control (RBAC), and not Apigee IAM and RBAC. That is the salient difference because you know Apigee Edge was not built on Google Cloud Project, whereas Apigee X is clearly built on Google Cloud Project. So you need to have a Google Cloud Project in order to configure Apigee X. All right. And the virtual host concept of Apigee Edge has been replaced by environment groups and GCP external load balancer. A virtual host lets you host multiple dom domain names on a server. For Edge, the server corresponds to an Edge router. By defining multiple virtual hosts on a router, the router can handle API requests to multiple domain names. And let's continue with the differences because there are a few more. And there are some new policies added in APGX that weren't in the earlier version of APGX, like dialog flow, course, data capture, external callout, and trace capture. And API proxy revisions are immutable. So once deployed, they cannot be changed. You can deploy a maximum of 50 proxies to an environment in APG X. And in APG Edge, the APG Ops team did all the provisioning. However, the provisioning and setup of APG X is up to the user. Now, key value maps or KVMs are all encrypted in APG X using a customer provided encryption key. The admin API endpoint is different, which is apg.googleapis.com in apgx, and authentication is different. Need OAuth, OAuth tokens always. So, how do we migrate proxies, app keys, specs, and other data from Edge to apgx? Is there any tool there to migrate the data? This question is actually asked by one of the users to uh, Google Cloud community, and the answer is based on my answer, the basic resource should be redeployable to X after export from the edge, Apigee edge, I mean. So wherever I am talking about X, that is Apigee X, and then edge is simply Apigee edge. There is an Apigee SAC Messer tool. What is a SAC Messer tool? It is actually German for multi-tool, and that can export configuration from edge or X. And the code is available in uh, GitHub. Now, this is the SACMESSER export command apg api u and dollar apg user. This is the password apg pass, apg organization, apg org. Now, this tool, let me show you the code is here. Uh, I just bring the. So, this is the readme file for the SACMESSER tool on GitHub. You can see the entire uh, URL is here. 
github.com slash apg slash devril slash tree slash so on and so forth and this is this is how the github um, source code looks like apg slash devril and in a nutshell it says uh, apg sac master is a collection of tools that provide a unifying experience for interacting with the apg management apis or apgx or hybrid and edge it also lets you deploy api proxies shared flows and configuration to both stacks without writing any additional manifest files all right getting back to our presentation the next line is the next point is with the deploy command you can then iterate through the exported proxies or point at specific config to deploy them to another platform for apgx this would look something like this echo test reimport edge export in x so whatever thing you have exported from edge you want to reimport into apgx so this is the deploy command sac method deploy backslash dash dash google api and these are the other commands okay um this is the organization this is the environment this is the script folder and this is the token okay so let's continue with this um, slide points it's important however that this is not designed to serve as a fully automated migration tool as it lacks migration features like migration of encrypted kvm entries key value map entries can't be exported and migration of key stores certificates also can't be exported and shared flow dependency resolution has to be done if shared flow a uses shared flow b then b needs to be deployed before shared flow a and export of specs and the devrel nightly does a very simple export redeploy cycle for a proxy and environmental configuration here so what is the devrel devrel is this uh, github source code which i have just shown you once more apg slash devrel okay um so this is the this is another um url github url and uh, let us see this one so this url opens this tab on github apg devrel and this is uh, licensed under the apache license version 2.0 the license you may not use this file except in compliance so you can have a read good read sac method deploy command echo some scripts are there already for you all right now the next point is you must know that sac method doesn't migrate but it can export api keys and app custom attributes and deploy them to apg using the maven config plugin format i also found the reference of this apg command line interface uh, tool on github with the github source code available what this tool does is you know this is a tool to interact with apg apis for apg hybrid and apgs managed offering this tool lets you manage create get list update delete export and import apg entities like proxies products etc the tools also help you create service accounts in google iam to operate apg apg hybrid runtime so if you could have a good read about the installation and the process so it might be of also helpful to your context depending upon um how um your situation stands so i thought that this is also needs to be referred in this uh, lecture on migration okay so now let's see an overview of the migration process so you have to assess your current apg edge environment so uh, you have to analyze your existing apg edge configuration policies custom code integrations and analytics identify any deprecated features or incompatible configuration that you will need to address during this migration process 
The second salient point is you have to plan the migration. You have to de develop a detailed migration plan which includes preparing the new FPGX environment, mapping out the necessary changes and setting milestones for the migration process and you have to establish a clear communication plan and allocate resources for the migration. Third point is you have to prepare the new FPGX environment. You set up your FPGX organization, environments and runtime instances, configure the necessary network settings such as VPC peering, DNS and SSL TLS certificates. Migrate API proxies and configurations. Export your API proxies, shared flows, policies, configurations from APG Edge and import them into APG X. Modify any deprecated features, policies, or configurations as needed. And test the imported proxies in APG X to ensure they function properly. Migrate API keys and OAuth tokens. The transfer existing API keys and OAuth tokens from APG Edge to APG X using the APG X API. Be aware of any potential security implications during this process. Now you have to update. The next point is to update custom code and integrations. Update any custom to code extensions or integrations to be compatible with APG X. This may include updating SDKs, modifying API calls, or migrating from deprecated features to newer alternatives. Now migrate analytics and reporting data. You have to export your analytics data uh, into APGX and you have to ensure that any custom reports and dashboards are compatible with the new environment. Next point is test and validate the APGX environment. Now perform thorough testing of your API proxies, policies, custom code, integrations and analytics in the APGX environment. Validate that everything is working as expected and address any issues that arise. Redirect API traffic to APGX. Once you have tested and validated your APGX environment, gradually redirect API traffic from APG Edge to APGX. You can use techniques like DNS changes, weighted load balancing, or API proxy routing to manage the traffic shift. And finally, monitor and optimize the APGX environment. So after completing the migration, continuously monitor the performance, security and usage of your APGX environment, optimize your configurations and policies as needed to improve performance and meet evolving business requirements. Now keep in mind that this is a high level overview of the process and the specifics will vary based on your organization's requirement and existing APG. Setup. Having said all this, it is very essential to work closely with your team and Google support throughout the migration to ensure a smooth and successful transition. No matter how skillful or expert you are, you have to still take Google support in your uh, process of migration. Hope this lecture is useful to you.